Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, x equals the square root of 4d minus 3x. Okay? Well, I'm going to square both sides here. Get rid of the radical. Leave me with x squared equals 40 minus 3x. Then I'm going to bring everything over to the left-hand side. So we have x squared plus a 3x minus a 40 equals 0. Now I need a factor. We have x here, x there. What to numbers multiply to be negative 40 but add to be 3? We're looking at a negative 5 and a positive 8. Right? Negative 5 times positive 8 is negative 40, but when I add those two together, I get positive 3. That, when we both set both these parts equal to 0, we're left with x equals 5 and a negative 8. So we need to check this, right? We're going to check it. We're going to plug it back in to our original equation. Let's go x equals 5 first. So we're left with x, uh, start with x equals square root of 40 minus 3x. Checking for that extraneous solutions here. Plugging 5 in equals square root of 40 minus 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. So we have the square root of 40 minus 15. Uh, 40 minus 15 comes out to be 25. So we have 5 equals square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is just 5. So we have 5 equals 5. Fantastic. Left and right hand side are equal, making 5 a true solution. Let's try the next one, negative 8. We have both two problems here, or two answers, but we got to check both of them, folks. We can't leave it alone x equals square root of 40, and please take your time, rewrite the equation. Let's not skip any steps here. Okay, negative 8 goes in for x, negative 8 equals 40 minus 3 times a negative 8. Okay, 3 times negative 8 is a negative 24, so we have 40 minus a negative 24. Subtracting negative, same thing as adding a positive. So we have 40 plus a positive 24, 40 plus 24 is 64, so we have negative 8 equals the square root of 64. The square root of 64 comes out to be a positive 8. Positive 8 here. They're not the same, right? Negative 8 and positive 8 are not the same. So this negative 8 here is not a real solution. It's an extraneous solution. So my only true answer is x equals 5. So let's recap. We were given x equals square root of 40 minus 3x. I squared both sides, eliminated the radical, and brought everything over to the left-hand side by adding the 3x and subtracting the 40. Then I factored that, getting x minus 5 times x plus 8. Knowing that I can set both of those equal to 0, I got a, a two solutions of x equals 5 and x equals negative 8. I checked those, plugged 5 in. When I simplified that, my left and right-hand side were both 5, making them equal, confirming that uh, 5 is a real solution. When I did the same thing with negative 8, I checked the other one. When I simplified that, I had negative 8 equals a positive 8. All right? Negative 8 and positive 8. Those, all right, those right there are not equal. Right? So it's not, a, uh, it's not a true statement making negative 8 an extraneous solution. So since negative 8 is an extraneous solution, 5 is my only real solution. So my final answer here is just x equals 5.